Let's say you treated some clients. You measured each client's outcome after the intervention, and the data you got was interval or ratio and normally distributed. Maybe it's something like the FIM, and you want to know if your clients exceeded a goal established by your clinic. In this scenario, we're down here in this part of the flowchart. You only have post-intervention data, your data is interval or ratio, and it's normally distributed. For hypothesis testing, you're going to use a one-sample t-test. Your null hypothesis is that the mean value is less than or equal to the target value, which is a one-tailed hypothesis. Your p-value is the probability that you could have gotten a difference between the outcome value and target value at least as large as what you got if there is actually no difference between the two. What you want to see is that the mean outcome for your clients exceeds your target value and that the p-value is less than 0.05. For the confidence interval approach, you want to see that the target value is outside the bounds of the confidence interval. In other words, the target value is either less than the lower bound of the confidence interval or greater than the upper bound of the confidence interval.